name's Nicola Labis, and I am the principal here at Millennial Tech Middle School. And this is called Drone Soccer. It's part of our STEAM program. What we're aiming for is really to figure out how we can interest kids in the field of engineering, aviation, STEM, design when it comes down to it, because the kids are learning how to code, they're learning how to program. As you can see, they're learning how to work together. They're learning how to collaborate with one another. Um, and they're learning how to be part of a team. So this program actually um, gets them ready for a competition that they will be competing in this week, the Soccer World Cup of Drones, which is something very new to us. We're just so glad that we could find something that sparks the interest of middle school kids, because that's hard to do nowadays. We have an expert teacher here who is willing to take on the program and learn everything about drones and I would definitely recommend this program to any school looking for something a little bit different. Uh, I am here to educate the younger generation about drone soccer and teach them how to build and how to all the tips and tricks to building these drones and getting them up and yes, running. I've been doing drone soccer for the past three and a half years now. I started when I was a junior in high school and I'm now a freshman in college. In addition to just learning about the drones, they're also learning about the career aspect of drones and how much money the kids might be able to make if they get certified in drone and aviation. So we're really happy to have um, different schools here from all over the country actually helping and collaborating with our school to build these drones that they will be using in the competition this week um, for the World Cup drone soccer team. And we're back now here at the Municipal Gym in sunny San Diego, California, preparing for our final four teams. Buzzing with excitement, teams from around the world gathered for the World Cup Drone Soccer Championship. The first ever in San Diego. This is my first time in America and I'm really uh, liking it so far. Ada Arcel is here all the way from Istanbul, Turkey. She, along with 18 teams from South Korea, Guyana, states across the U.S. and more, all traveled right here to the municipal gym at Balboa Park in San Diego to participate in this unique competition. The thing that we've really appreciated about drone soccer is that the kids get to build, fly, and fix professional level drones. And so they get a lot of experience in engineering and troubleshooting, programming and coding, as well as their piloting skills. Drone soccer, a rapidly growing sport combining the skills of drone piloting and the strategy of soccer, features teams of pilots maneuvering drones through a series of hoops aiming to score goals while evading opponents. It really boosts students' confidence that they can really do something like this in aviation then that'll propel them into going further into the field or any STEM related or any career field. There's going to be a much higher demand over the next 10 years or so. FFA has said that they need about 350,000 to 800,000 drone pilots. And so our kids are training towards that. Training towards a future where the sky is the limit. It can help me get some jobs, at, hopefully at NASA. I'd like to work at NASA someday. One day I will be an astronaut. Um, I, that is my ultimate goal. I want to be up in space, possibly on the moon one day. Also at the Arena South, we had Wings Over the Rockies Air and Space Museum from Denver up against Team Guyana. This is a new program in South America that flew all the way here for this event. Uh, they've been doing a little flying at home, but this is their first competitive experience. I represent Guyana. It's a country in South America. We are the only English-speaking country on the continent of South America. Also considered to be a part of the Caribbean. We have a team representing Guyana at this academic championship here today. And uh, it's a phenomenal experience for the kids. And we are coming here as ambassadors for our country to go back and represent and expand our program we just developed locally. Drone experts and participants say it's not only an inspiration to incorporate drone technology in classrooms. We can do this affordably by getting started with drone camps or a, a classroom enrichment program. About $15,000 a site is a turnkey drone program from training your staff 
all the technology and support equipment that you need. They also hope San Diego will become the hub for more competitions in the future. Technology is, you know, improving every minute, every year. And I think when I'm older, like this is going to very much improve me into doing my job. Our number one seeded team was the world champion Korean team, RCIN. Uh, they have dominated. RCIN all the way from South Korea with a world champion coach. Uh, these students have been playing mostly the large 40 centimeter drones in Korea. This format at the 20 centimeter size is new to them, but they have been dominating. Uh, the Academic Drone Soccer World Cup is a non-profit event that is open to all students, regardless of what league you play in or what drones you use. And in fact, we have several different drone models being used here today, showing the innovation of different teams. Crew Concept Drone Labs, we're providing aviation workforce development programs and training to schools. If you want to get started with drone training or uh, aviation workforce development, uh, we can come in and train your staff. We provide turnkey camps and curriculum to really uh, help prepare for FAA career paths. Michelin inflatable solutions that have been uh, provided some of their arenas for us to use. And we're proud to have them from uh, France supporting with all the enclosures that you see here today. Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University is here as well, uh, announcing some scholarships for some of our young students to move on into an aviation university. And those are the pathways that we're really uh, trying to create. We're joined by Orca FPV, Orca is one of the few companies outside of China really innovating in the FPV drone space. A full stack technology provider from goggles, drones, radio controllers, and flight simulators. Last but not least, Hellcell from South Korea. They are the inventors and manufacturers of some of these small elementary drones that we've been using around the country, as well as the big 40 centimeter drones that we're using with collegiate programs.